Joining us now is Kevin Harrington, entrepreneur, business savant, uh, original shark on Shark Tank. Kevin, great to have you back in the program. Hey, Don, thanks for having me. Good, good to be here again. Now, you've got a new book out. Tell us about it. So my new book is, I, I've been, as an entrepreneur for 40 years, I've realized that many uh, mentors helped shape my business all along the way. Uh, I was lucky to have a father when I was 11 years old that said, you know, you, you need to uh, work hard and get your own business. And so when I was in a teenager in, in, high, in, in high school, I started a company. And then uh, when I got to college, I started another business that grew to millions of dollars a year in sales with dozens of employees while I was going to school. And so um, then I got into the as seen on TV business and and I needed help because we were, it was big business. We were, we were doing tens of millions of dollars in sales with no financing. I was, I was leveraging it from profits. And one day I just couldn't do it anymore because we, we had so many orders we couldn't get the inventory for. I brought in a finance mentor who was a former bank president. We raised $3 million. We 10 X the size of the company. So mentors have been good to me. So I wrote the book, Mentor to Millions. And it's all, it's, it's not about millions of dollars. It's about millions of people and the impact that a mentor can have in your business if, if you have the right mentor. So that's, that's that the book launched last week and uh, it's, it's doing pretty well. We're excited about the book. Well, you know, you're absolutely right because you can't do this alone. You have to have people in your corner and have your back, that type of thing. Exactly. I mean, it's when, when I think about it, when I first started as an entrepreneur, I wanted to be my own boss and do it myself. I didn't want to pay other people. And of course, when you don't, if, you know, if you're a young entrepreneur and you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a budget for like a $150,000 CFO necessarily, right? So you end up bootstrapping and, and, and getting people in to do the job, but they may not be the right people. And that's what I found out. So um, yeah, so uh, along the way here, um, I have, you know, as, as part of my, my As Seen on TV business, it was important to have good finance and operations people. Of course, then I got that phone call from Mark Burnett, and he's like, hey, you want to come on Shark Tank? And I'm like, well, hey, Mark, thank you. Uh, I did, I was the, the, the very first shark they picked, and, and, and so now people come to Shark Tank, and you know what? They're, they're, they're really looking for two things. One, they're looking for money, but really more than the money, what they want is that deal with the shark because they want that mentoring that the shark is going to give them. Mentoring as well as opening up the Rolodex and all of that. So, I mean, I, I, I started, you know, I, you, you know, I did 175 uh, pitches on Shark Tank I took. Um, and, and so I, I couldn't do you know, 150 of them. So, cause I did do about 25, but the 150 that I didn't do, people were calling me, Hey, I know you didn't want to invest the money, but what if I give you the equity, but you help me. Okay. So it's, you know, this sometimes if to get some of the right people involved inside your business, you need maybe to throw a little equity around and you know, that, that, that makes sense sometimes. You know, Kevin, in 2020 business, people are dealing with COVID which is unexpected, unexplained. How do, you, how do you best recommend people deal with it in business? So, so this is what happened to me when COVID first hit. Um, the, the, right away, all these unemployed people were sitting at home. What were they doing? They were on their computer, all right? And so the usage levels, the internet levels, the viewers on Facebook and Instagram was just going through the roof. So you got that one motion. At the other point, advertisers were plummeting because the stores were closed, the concerts weren't happening. So you've got huge viewership and, and no advertisers, literally. I picked up in that, that delta of, of when this first hit, I focused on customer acquisition. We were getting the best customer acquisition deals we had ever seen in years 
because there were so many people watching and nobody was advertising. So we had, we, we, we cut the best deals that we, we'd ever seen. And so I believe that people that are in business, entrepreneurs need to focus on their e-commerce strategies, their customer acquisition strategies. And one other thing also, it's, I, I have a big focus on subscription revenue. And this is because in, in, over the years of infomercials for me, I was sort of the gadget guy. We did the Ginsu knives and the food saver and the Jacqueline juicer and, you know, tools and Billy Mays saws and hardware and drills. People only buy one. What subscription revenue is how do you get people to buy something today and, and have it auto shipped on a monthly basis? So those are a couple of the things that I say that it's important for people focus on getting the customers and then focus on keeping them for a lifetime. Sage advice from a business savant. The book is Mentor to Millions. Show us the book again, Kevin. Here we go. Mentor to Millions. And if you go to kevinmentor.com, we actually have a deal where you get 30 days of free mentoring from me and my co-author, Mark Tim. And we, we, we're going to be doing virtual events, live events, taped events, pitching events for 30 days. Go to mentor, kevinmentor.com and you can check it out and you get 30 days of free mentoring. Best of success with the book, Kevin. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Don. Take care, buddy.